Hey guys, welcome back. So last week I showed you how the jukebox works in the Bedrock Edition. And it only took one day until someone made a mod that recreates the Bedrock Jukebox for the Java Edition. So today we're gonna check that out and more. So with the default edition of the mod, the jukebox works the same as in Bedrock. So you can use hoppers or droppers to insert the music disc. And while it's playing, it's also powering adjacent blocks. But I requested one more feature for the mod, which was also added. I also wanted the option to stop the record from playing. And yeah, usually this wouldn't work with a normal hopper because of course it gets powered. But a hopper minecart that isn't standing on an activator rail would of course take out an item out of the jukebox. So by yeah, just pushing it in from the side, we can now also stop the jukebox from playing. And then we could put in another record, which isn't possible in the Bedrock Edition. And because I'm using carpet mod, I can also make the jukebox movable. So I'm gonna play around with that as well. Okay, so the first thing you obviously gotta do is to put the jukebox on a flying machine. And this will also give you an idea why the jukebox is probably not uh, movable in the Bedrock Edition. So there's also the same issue that we're having here. I hope you can hear this. So the source of the sound is still the original block where the jukebox started playing. Um, sounds in Minecraft always bound to a certain position. So even if you have something like a cat meowing, um, it will always play the sound just in a single location. It works quite well with pretty much all the other sounds because they're rather short, but the jukebox of course is like an extreme case. The sound that plays for longer than a minute. And of course, yeah, this doesn't work unless the, the whole sound engine would change and we could get dynamic sound that was kind of bound to location, they can't be moved. So uh, yeah, that's probably the reason why we just can't move the jukebox in Bedrock Edition. It's also interesting if you move the jukebox and then take out the disc in the other location, then the music won't stop playing. You can use it again, and then take it out again and stop it this way. All right, if something is broken in the game, of course the first thing you wanna do is abuse it somehow. So it would be kind of cool if you could make a flying machine that starts playing a record, then gets moved, and does it over and over again. All right, so here it is, the music spamming machine. Okay, so the idea is simple. So we move the jukebox over first. So just the jukebox here, top of the hopper minecart. Then we take out the music disc, and then we push the bottom part, just with a little bit of delay where the yeah, record will be put back into the jukebox. And then we move it again. So we get this delay here, just a yeah, standard flying machine and we're using a bit of a slower engine to make this work. And now we play, yeah, the record every single block. Not sure if this is a really good idea, but this could definitely be used to annoy someone. Now we just need to make it basically two-directional and it will be perfect. Yeah, not really nice. <laughs> yeah, let's get away from this. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> this is really bad. Um, but for change, let's actually do something productive. I always wanted to make this music machine. And I guess a lot of you guys wanted to make or wanted to have something similar at some point as well. So here we got a yeah, basic music machine. So instead of taking out the music disc out of the inventory, putting it into the jukebox yourself, taking it out and so on, if you've got everything automated. And since we're not in better condition, we can also stop it from playing. Right, so let's try it out. Let's play Mellow here. First, have to press the button, and it will be put into the jukebox in the back. Press the lamp indicate, indicates that the jukebox is playing. Okay, um, so now we could either stop it from playing by pressing this button or just select a different one. Let's go for pick step again. There we go. We got pick step. Uh, let's go for the new one. Other side plays as well, but it would work with yeah all of the the records. Of course, also the music discs are put back into the storage. Okay, and here we can stop it from playing. So a bit of redstone is required to achieve that. Uh, especially because I wanted to have it decently fast, so I was using mostly instant droppers instead of hoppers to transfer the items to the actual jukebox, uh, which is hidden in here. Um, so the lamp is basically directly next to the jukebox. So when the jukebox is playing, the lamp turns on. Okay, um, so how does this work? Um, 
Where should we actually start with explaining? Uh, let's just put in a record now. There's also a functionality, of course, um, if the record would stop playing, it's also taken out of on its own and put back into the storage. So I just turned down the music a little bit. All right, so what happens is if the record stops playing, then this piston here, which is getting powered by the jukebox and updated with the rails above, would then retract the observer. And then we actually trigger this uh, piston with the hopper micro on top, raise it up and take the music disc out of the jukebox. And then immediately lower the micro again and the hopper would pick it up. And then we have this uh, dropper setup that puts the record back into the system. Of course, now uh, we need to put it into the correct dropper. As you can see, that's where the items are stored. Um, how do we achieve this to select the correct dropper? So here we got a redstone line on the side um, that is redirected towards the droppers with the buttons, which is dependent on the signal strength. So we also take an output here with the comparator from the jukebox directly and transfer the signal over to the other end. Okay, so in case of big step, I think we got signal strength 13 and this reaches basically up to this dropper, so it couldn't be powered. On top we actually have this instant dropper line, so all the hoppers below are skipped usually. But not of course if the dropper is getting powered. And we're actually about to run out of playtime with the pick step music disc. Any moment it should actually take it out and put it back. Uh, perfect, so again, we have three of those uh, type in there again. Alright, um, just play a different one. Not sure which ones are actually good, I never listened to those. Okay, I think this is Cat. So listen to that. Yeah, so the records are put back this way, because at some point, of obviously, the, the dropper line stops working. So in case of this record, it would stop working here. Then the hopper can take out um, the record and put it back. Okay, then of course we have a selection as well. So if you press one of those buttons, then of course you would put the record into this line of droppers that would point towards the jukebox. But first of course we also have to take this out. So below um, the main droppers where the item was stored, we just got observers. So if you press the button, this line would trigger. And then we yeah, trigger again this off switch. Uh, including the, the piston line and dropper line to put the items back. And then we trigger the other dropper line that sends yeah, the music disc towards the jukebox. Okay, so that's basically it. Took me about an hour to build this up. Um, of course, you could also add more functionality. I was thinking about it would be maybe nice to have a randomizer button as well. Um, so you could maybe add that on the side, just add randomizers to it. Now, I actually didn't really plan this through. Kind of ran out of space to squeeze it in there, but yeah, if, you were, if I would start from scratch again with that in mind, could I add a randomizer, I could add functionality to make a playlist or stuff like that. Um, so there's have a lot of ideas when it comes to automatable jukeboxes. And here we just have the off switch actually squeeze it in in the end. Uh, was somehow possible to send a signal through and also trigger here this, this off switch and drop a line. Okay, there we go. Stop the music from playing, unlike a better condition. This definitely should actually be a feature. Also, obviously, if the system is definitely not recommended to spam the buttons. So in case you have little children, you probably want to make this a bit safer. Or if you have other players on a server that just like to press buttons, so this machine is not idiot proof because it's just quickly made it for the video. Okay, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. The slow flying machines using the jukeboxes. I already talked about it in a bedrock video. Unfortunately, the jukebox is unmovable there. So the idea is that we have a jukebox that keeps the sticky piston powered as long as it's playing. When it stops playing, of course, the hopper will take out the music disc. And then we pull back this part of the machinery and then the front part will be pushed forward and then the dropper uh, will shoot the record into the hopper which puts it back into the jukebox which then powers the sticky piston again and it extends. Okay, so I guess we have to wait. I'm already playing the, the shortest music disc here, number 11, until it finishes.
And there we go. This was one cycle. Depending on the record, this would now move forward every 70 seconds up to almost six minutes. Um, yeah, one more thing to talk about is maybe that the sounds also client side. So if for some reason your server would run slower or faster, then it could also be desynchronized. So I'm just gonna tick warp real quick. Then we can actually see this flying machine move forward a bit quicker. But of course, the sounds won't play fast because of this. They're always client side. Uh, yeah, and they, of course, are not affected by the server running faster. Alright, so this was the showcase of the Bedrock Jukebox in Java Edition with some extra features. Also, if you ask me, I wouldn't even mind if it's smooth, but of course, there's some brokenness involved, but... Well, Draza have more options, even if it's slightly broken, than fewer. Alright, that's it. Thanks guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye!